Though chef Brian Poe is no stranger to Boston's fine dining scene, when it came to creating the Tip Tap Room in Beacon Hill, he knew he needed something a little different. Since people don't have uh, you know backyards in Beacon Hill, we kind of try and provide an area where they can sit down, relax, enjoy, have a nice grilled dinner. Like amped up version of what I'd be cooking if we were just hanging out in, in each other's yard and just enjoying the afternoon. With big garage doors that open to the street and wooden shingled walls, all this restaurant's missing is the grass. And when it comes to food, they've taken the back yard barbecue to a whole new level with over 36 beers on tap and tips made with just about any kind of meat you can imagine. Hence the name Tip Tap Room. Let's start with the tips. What's been fun in my career is to take that whole entree, break it down into tips. It gives you a fun way to, to still make a great dish. A lot of where we were able to find the flavors with all the different meats was by layering or stacking flavors. So you start with the marinade and then the really cool rub that we have that goes on at the beginning, middle, and end. So you continue to, to build on those flavors. The best part about these tips is that there's really no going wrong. You can order the classic steak tips served with horseradish potatoes and cherry peppers. Or you can try some citrus chicken tips served over jasmine rice, mint and shallot lamb tips with creamy goat cheese potatoes, seared tofu tips over quinoa and fresh avocado, even swordfish tips with an olive tapenade potato. But for a dinner that will make any day feel like a holiday, Brian recommends the turkey tips served over creamed corn potatoes and topped with cranberry fennel slaw. The idea is just like this ultimate kind of comfort. So you can have Thanksgiving in the summer, Thanksgiving in the, in the winter, whenever you kind of feel that need to, to dig into some comfort and flavor. And it's all in one package on one little, it's a little tip plate. <laughs> Even after you work your way through all the tips, there are plenty of plates to keep you coming back, like the burger made with ground steak and drizzled with A1 aioli and Tip Tap secret dressing, boar meatballs sitting in a spicy ginger cilantro broth, fried calamari with shishito peppers and lemon yogurt sauce for dipping, grilled corn doused in Korean pepper aioli and sprinkled with ricotta salada, and the inventive glazed barbecue riblets. You just pick it up, it's a little bite-sized piece, and it's not so messy. You can have it with a beer at the bar, you can have it while you're watching the game, or you can have it while you're sitting down with a group of friends. Or you can forego the menu altogether and order straight from the specialty board above the bar. The chalkboard is how when people walk in, sit down at the bar and look up, you know exactly what, what choices you have. On a Friday or Saturday night, we might have 10 different new ideas that we came up with that are put up there. And we might have to, in the middle of dinner service, get up on the chalkboard and erase that dish because people loved it. We continuously, continuously change and create and do and make stuff up. So. I actually want to get a t-shirt that says I make stuff up. <laughs> you know, like it's just, we just make food up all the time and, it, and it's just a, it's an amazing place to be. No matter what your dinner indulgence, be it a plate of savory steak tips or something off the special board, like this rack of wild boar served over spiced yogurt and grilled ramps, the Tip Tap Room offers plenty of desserts to enjoy, even on a full stomach. House favorites include the Blondie Sunday, topped with poached fruit and a scoop of butter ice cream, and the caramel apple with vanilla bean ice cream and walnut streusel. It's uh, beautiful little apples that are filled with caramel, and it's got this kind of like that candy apple red sauce on the side of it, so you get New England-y kind of flavors that you want to taste as a kid, but it's just the ultimate kind of finish to a, to a dinner. So while the caramel apple may make you smile, what makes Chef Brian happiest is a loud, busy dining room. That's the best feeling in the world. That means that people like the food, they like the environment, they like the drinks that we provide. So that's that's the ultimate reward. And most of the time, get that every single night. It's one of the most amazing feelings in the world.